So it's Red Vates being the video here, and today I'm super excited because it's time for a brand new yo-yo trick tutorial here today that I'll be showing you guys. This brand new trick is called the H2O Overflow, and it's an awesome trick. And if you guys remember the bottle flip challenge from last year, this is actually where this trick got its name from, uh, believe it or not, because I made this trick last year. But it's a good trick. If you guys enjoy the triangle style yo-yo tricks, I think you'll really enjoy this trick because it uses quite a few different triangle moves, and it starts off with the triangle laceration. I'll be using the checkpoint in aqua blue here today with yellow string, so that's super awesome. And before we get into this video, I'm going to take a little refresher. <laughs> so this is now the fourth time I've had to do that, just for the record so that I remember. H2O, let us go. Alright Toaster Stoodles, let's jump into our new yo-yo trick tutorial. So it starts off with a strong breakaway throw, and the first part to our new yo-yo trick is going to be the triangle laceration, which is this move right here. I'll have a link in the description down below if you guys want to figure out how to do that. I'll show you how to do it in that video, so you guys can check that out, so that you can get this down right here. That's what our new trick is going to start off with, the triangle laceration. You can get that down and then you can continue with the trick. So let's take a look now. So my strong breakaway. I do the triangle laceration. And then from here, I'm going to pop up the yo-yo from the back to the front over the top string. And then I land onto the same string into that part. And then I line up the yo-yo with the two strings right here and I perform a boingy boing move. Which looks just like that, just like the normal boingy boing. And then when I stop, I'm back into the previous position. From here, I put the yo-yo into that top string around my throw hand pointer finger, sort of like a 1.5 mount position. I come back around into the previous position, then I pop up the yo-yo from the front to the back, back into the basic green triangle right there, back where we started. So that's the first part to this trick. So let's jump into the next part of our trick and also some of the previous stuff again the triangle laceration from the back to the front, our boingy boing part, get that down nice and strong so it looks like that, and then the 1.5 mount part, I come back around, and then right here it's going to be from the front to the back, and then you're left into that green triangle again. So now I'm going to go around my throw hand pointer finger, and then I come around again for an extra wrap in front of everything, and then I unwrap back into that 1.5 mount part, around again, back into our basic green triangle. Let's have a look at that part again, and then we'll move on. So I come around my throw hand pointer finger, into that 1.5 mount part, around again, in front of everything, for an extra wrap. I unwrap, and I come all the way back around, you're left in that basic green triangle. You want to keep your throw hand pointer finger in that loop of string though and then you perform an underpass with the yo-yo and then you're going to open up these two strings here and then the yo-yo is going to come out in between those two strings as it comes around and then it's going to go in behind and then it lands on that string that my thumb's pointing out as it comes in behind and it lands on that string and then I put my throw hand into this loop of string right here and I'm left in a wrist whip position actually just like if I were to perform a wrist whip this is probably the hardest part of the trick, is what I just showed you right there. You'll see this a lot better in the side view. So let's check it out again. So I do my underpass right here. I open up these two strings. The string that's furthest on the left there, that's the string that the yo-yo is going to land on as it comes in behind. The string will be in the middle of this configuration as it comes in behind. I land the yo-yo on that string. I keep that loop opened up there, and I stick my throw hand inside. And then I perform an underpass, 
I'm in this position, I pop the yo-yo up from the front to the back. Over that top string, I land on the same string again. I drop it into a triangle. I pop up the yo-yo from the back to the front. I drop it. I'm in another triangle. I come out in behind to dismount from our entire trick. And that's the whole thing right there. A couple triangle moves. Now let's jump into our side view where we can see this trick a lot better here. We perform our triangle laceration. I pop up the yo-yo from the back to the front onto the same string. Here's a look at our boingy boing move. Back down, 1.5 style part. Back around from the, the front to the back here. As we are back into our basic green triangle, around, extra wrap, 1.5 part here, around, back into that triangle. Back into the triangle right there. And then we'll have a look from that part. So you're back in your basic green triangle. Across, in between these two strings, the yo-yo comes in between. And then that middle string, the yo-yo is going to come in behind and it lands onto that string. It's going to be in the middle. I stick my throw hand into that loop of string. We perform our underpass. The yo-yo comes from the front to the back. I drop it into the triangle. I pop up my yo-yo from the back to the front. I land in a second triangle. And then I come out from in behind. And that finishes our trick H20 overflow here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to let me know. Thank you so much for watching my yo-yo trick tutorial video on the yo-yo trick called H2 Overflow here today. If you guys super enjoyed this video here today, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel to see more yo-yo trick tutorial videos. Coming up again very soon here once again. Also, if you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comments. And I'll be happy to write back to all your questions about this yo-yo trick. My name is Brett Vadesby. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in another video pretty soon next time.